Hey, it's Amy Hauser, and we're going to do a little bit of yoga, probably about 20 minutes. So grab a mat or a rug. I've got the cowhide and a water if you need it. And we're going to do a little bit of relaxing, restful stretching. And we're going to set an intention today that has to do with breath and with our foundation, our rooting down and a strong foundation. So join me on your mat and we're gonna to start today in true north posture. So you may not exactly see my feet, but my big toes are together, pointing straight forward at 12 o'clock. My heels are separated a few inches and I'm rooting down in what I would call four corners of my feet. All areas of my feet are rooting down deep into the mat. So when we stand in true north, or this is Tadasana, or you call it mountain pose, this is just our ready set, our power position. But we don't want to just be like loose. We want to be, hold on, I have to open the door for my dog. We're rooting down through our feet and we're engaging our feet. It's like I'm splitting the rug, if you will, in two. So my feet are here and I want to split it the long way, you know, like standing on a piece of paper or something where you pull it and it can rip. So my feet are active. They're rooting down, foundationally strong. And that lights up my calves, lights up my quads. And it's a very active posture, something you can do when you are at the kitchen sink or you're standing in line activating your feet and all of these postures can even tone our muscles while we're just standing still. My pelvis is level. So if I think of my pelvic bone as like a round bowl, that's my pelvis. If I'm sticking my booty out, my bowl is tipping and I'm gonna spill out the front. If I have a bowl full of water and I am swaying my lumbar spine, I'm gonna tip my bowl of water out the back. I want to be neutral, rested in my pelvis. Then I'm gonna telescope my hips and my ribs away from one another. So I'm telescoping, lengthening through my midsection. The heads of my shoulders, they're not rolled forward, they're not scrunched up, they're back and down and relaxed, away from my ears, I'm creating space. So when I'm like this intense, I don't have much space between my ear and my shoulder, but when I let them relax, and then my scapula, or these bones back here, right? My shoulder blades, the back tips are pointing in essence into the back of my heart. So they're back, not exaggerated, but back down my back and spine. My head is straight ahead, looking forward. The crown of my head, the very top of my head is reaching in essence for the sky. My hands are active, but relaxed and open ready to receive. So this is true north. Things are active. I am, I can have my I am statements. I am loved, I'm beautiful, I am strong, I am kind, I am loved. I am able to do the things I don't want to do. I am confident. This is my power pose, my true north. I'm rooted down. And as we're in this active posture, we're gonna engage our ujjayi breath. That is our victorious breath. And so I want you to think about ujjayi. If you know of Darth Vader, Star Wars, that sound, well, I know that sound, but how do I make that sound? 
And so think about blowing out your birthday candles. You got a big, lovely cake in front of you, candles. Blow out your candles. Now blow them out again. Now blow out your cake candles with your mouth closed. You hear Darth Vader? That is a ujjayi, victorious breath sound. And I want you to establish a rhythm that is comfortable for you. And in this case, my belly is tucked in and up as I'm doing all of the full body posture for true north, engaging my ujjayi breath. As we're thinking about our focus or our intention today for this brief practice, breath, always coming back to that breath. Why is breath so important, Amy? Why are you talking about your breath so much? Breath is what brings us back into the present moment. It brings us back into the now. So we may want to worry about things from yesterday, things that were said or done or not done or not said, or worrying about tomorrow, what needs to get done, where we need to be, who we need to see, the things we hope to accomplish. But right here, right now, our breath brings us back into the present where we can just be and everything is okay right here, right now. So we can set those aside, let those other thoughts drift away like a cloud that just is passing overhead and breathe. Now, when we're in this true north or tadasana posture, even if we move into other postures like down dog or others, we can still remember to keep all of these things active the pelvis level, the belly tucked in, the shoulders away from the ears, all of this engagement. We carry through every element of the yoga practice. So let's just do some gentle flow all the while engaging breath and foundational grounding. Sun A will inhale, rise up, reaching our arms to the sky, rooting down through our feet into the earth. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, belly tucked in, crown of the head reaching to the wall in front of us. Exhale, chaturanga, or step back into the plank, lower our knees, Chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. My forearms are reached out in front of me, uh, extended out in front, opening through the chest, through the collarbone. As we inhale, exhale, push back into your first down dog. As we're in down dog, Walk out your dog. That's alternating feet. Rising to your toes on one, reaching towards the earth with your heel on the other, alternating back and forth. We're running down through the hands, pressing through the fingertips. Underneath each fingernail, I'm pressing into the earth, wrapping my shoulder blades in and breathe. Belly tucked in, attuned to even true north posture while we're in other poses. Rooting down, we're connected foundationally by our hands and our feet. Inhale, look forward and gently walk to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, scooping through the heart opening through the chest, extending through the crown of our head, a little fluidity behind the knees. 
Exhale, fold and inhale, rise all the way up. Hands to heart center. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Opening through the chest as we breathe. Tailbone is reaching towards our toes, to the back, the lengthening. We don't want to compress the lumbar spine. We want to lengthen it out. And that's by relaxing through that tailbone, pressing down through the tops of our feet into the earth. And then inhale. Pressing back into down dog. Step maybe a, a foot or a foot's length towards your hands. And walking out your dog. Ujjayi breath. Inhale, look forward and step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And hands to heart center. Sun salutation B. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sit back into chair. I want you to notice and share. My feet, they can be really close together or you can have some space. Straightening as much as I can through the back and sitting down into that chair, lifting through the toes. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Look forward, right foot forward, warrior one. Back left foot spins, is flat on the earth, toes pointing to 10 o'clock. Feet are hip distance apart for balance. True north posture. As I tuck my belly in, tailbone down so my pelvis is level, opening through the chest. Ujjayi breath, awareness of my foundation. It's staggered like railroad ties. I'm not on a balance beam but more on railroad ties for foundational strength. Rooting down and knowing that we are grounded strong. We're not in a hurry. We're breathing through areas of difficulty. Exhale, hands down. Step back. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward, left foot forward. Warrior one. Again, open through the chest. Press down through that back right foot into the earth, stabilizing, grounding foundation, and breathe. Exhale, step back, chaturanga, to cobra our dog. Inhale, back to down dog. Right leg, Floats to the sky. And if you want, open up your dog. Just open up that right hip. 
and straighten it out and gently lower to the earth. Left leg floats to the sky. Again, attuning to the posture and the breath. I've got three points of foundational grounding. Left leg bends for hip opener. Relaxing through the neck, head hanging. Straighten left leg, gently lower back to the earth. Look forward and step hop or float to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up and settle back in your chair. Thunderbolt. I will come down left elbow to right knee and twist. On the inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. Check out knees. Are your knees aligned? Make proper hip adjustments if necessary. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach for the sky. Exhale, come down, twist. Right elbow to left knee. Again. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, tuck belly in, exhale, twist, align knees, and breathe, opening up through the heart. You're rooted and grounded into the earth. Release, come out of that, hands to the mat, spreading your feet hip distance apart. I want you to take your palms of your hand and feed them under your feet. We got some gorilla moves. If this is accessible to you, stand on your hands, lowering your head. Let it just dangle. Let that eight pound bowling ball just dangle and rest and relax. And then gently try and pull your hands out, but your feet won't let you. So you'll get a nice spinal pull, gentle spinal pull. Don't hurt yourself, just until you feel some pulling, stretching all along both sides of your spine. Relax the neck. We tend to want to crank it up let it hang and soften behind the knees. Your belly is just resting on your thighs. And then even wiggle your toes and massage your hands a little bit. Oh my gosh, you feel pretty good. And then release your hands one at a time. Then come down to your knees. Let's just do a little hip rotation here. So I'm going to scooch back. And we're on all fours. My feet, the tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. I'm just going to do a gentle rotation. Back. So I'm leaning back, bending through the arms, and just rotating my hips around my knees. Going clockwise right now. And then rotate counterclockwise. Kneecap is cracking on the left side. There it keeps going. Probably because I don't have a mouth. And then setting back ever so carefully as you're resting on your feet. Let's move into child's pose. Arms extend straight out in front of you. 
feet are together, knees are wide, widen your mat if, it's, if that is something comfortable for you. Whatever is a comfortable posture. Forehead resting on the mat. Just rotating head, your head from side to side as if you're like shaking your head now. Gentle rotation. You're just kind of massaging the forehead a bit. And then walking your hands to the right side of your mat and then giving your body a little stretch. So foundationally here, lots of our body is in contact with the earth. Hands, forearms, knees, shins, tops of feet. We have more security here at the end of this little practice. And stretch. And as you're still breathing, walk your hands back to the center then all the way over to the left. So a nice gentle stretch in the right side of your body. And breathe. And returning to center, you weight on your forearms, push your body back up, and then make your way to your back for a quick Shavasana. I'm gonna talk from this posture while you lay on your back. So as you are settling in on your back, you have been very intentional about your Ujjayi breath. And now you get to slow it down and return to your normal, natural breath. Attune to the rise and fall of your belly and your chest as you relax into this posture. Your legs spread as wide as you would like them, arms wide on your mat, or maybe in cactus arms, if that's comfortable for you. Palms face up, whatever is most comfortable. Some even like their legs in butterfly or legs up the wall. But this is a little time for you. And your whole body, your backside of your body is grounded and foundationally in touch with the earth. So gently bring your attention to the backs of your feet, your ankles, your shins, and that contact with the earth, your thighs and glutes, and maybe part of your lower back. Sometimes that bows up a little bit, but your mid back and your shoulder blades. And just an awareness with its contact of something else is holding it up without you worrying about it, without you thinking about it. It just is supporting you. The backs of your arms, elbows, forearms, hands, your head. We take for granted every day that we are supported. And by no effort of ours, it does its job for us. We've learned some things in science classes about gravity and force. and the laws of nature. But right now in this moment, you are held together. And you are held up or you're held down if you're laying. You're breathing without thinking about it because you stopped thinking about your breath because now you're thinking about 
how held you are without even knowing it. So as you continue to rest and relax, just internally, maybe even folding your hands over your heart, expressing gratitude for creation and our creator who holds everything in his hands. And we worry about the details of our day and our families and our lives and our finances. And we often forget about the things that are just naturally held there that we take for granted. So what if all of our foundational needs are taken care of and held by our Father without any effort of our own? But when we slow down and take a moment and show gratitude and share gratitude, Thank you, Father. Thank you for the things that hold my life together, that have taken all the pieces and held everything in place, even when it doesn't feel like it. Thank you for my foundation. Sometimes they feel shaky and uncertain. Many times, Things are working for me without me even recognizing or knowing. So I thank you for the big things of holding me together. And may I trust you even a little more tomorrow with some of the smaller things. Thank you for watching this video and coming here and spending some time with basic stretches. Taking care of our body matters. And so starting small, being grateful for what shows up each day that you show up on your mat and doing it again the next day. The light in me honors and respects and is grateful for the light in you, which is also namaste. Thanks for tuning in. Come back again and share this with others.